Thanks for downloading and giving a try to Agile Toolkit. As you can see, the first page of Agile Toolkit already have some interesting controls. In particular, this button. Clicking this button is going to refresh the paragraph beneath it. In this video, I'm going to, to go through the steps of how it happens. First, let's see how it's done from the browser's perspective. We have an element for button in the HTML code and an element for paragraph. Before that, we have element for h1 header and also element for the highlighted area in here. You will notice that all the elements have automatic ID set, which all start with sample project index. The ending for each one is different. Those tags are produced by view classes. All the standard view classes automatically set ID unique IDs to objects. Let's see what happens if I click on the eject button. The content of the P is being updated from the server using KJX. Let's see what happens with the network. When I click the button, new request is being done to the server and the following content is being returned. This content have some of the generic installation stuff, which doesn't actually do anything in this case. And then it contains a new HTML code for the element we're reloading. Another thing to look at is the source of this page. This is the default JavaScript block in here. The function is being called as soon as all the dynamic includes are being loaded like this. The next thing you will see here is that the action is placed on the button which will be triggered on click event and then the following thing is called This function instructs the element to load its content from the, the following address. Please note that the page is passed as, as is without changes, an additional argument called at object. As a result, page is rendered partially and only relevant view is returned. This name corresponds with the ID of the element. Now let's look on the PHP code. The request goes to the index.php file. There are three important lines in this file. First one includes the loader for Agile Toolkit. The second one initializes the application of our choice. And the third one executes everything in that application. The frontend class is defined in this file. The two JavaScript includes you saw before are actually being generated by this statement. By default, if page not specified, then the page index is being loaded. This is the behavior of API frontend class, which we inherit by extending it. Now let's go line by line through the default index page, and I will explain what, what each line is doing. This line 
adds a new box. The View Info class automatically uses the icon I. Then the custom template is used, which results in this HTML. This blog demonstrates how you can add view with your custom HTML. This next line adds a H1 element to the page. Next to add a button. Function adds returns the object of a new class, which we then use to set label to this. Function set label returns the same object, and we're putting it into this variable for later use. Next, we're going to add object called lorem ipsum. We also call a function which modifies the behavior of this view. Similarly, the function returns copy of the same object, which we assign to this variable. Finally, we modify the behavior of the button through JavaScript. We instruct that the following JavaScript chain is going to be executed whenever a button is clicked. This code bins two views together through JavaScript.